Hey everybody, today we're going to go over section 4.1, Extruder Troubleshooting of Luke Hatfield's Help Guide. I've been seeing a ton of posts in the Facebook pages and forums about extruders uh, having issues, so let's get into it. My name is Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. <laughs> So this is the extruder on my Ender 3. As you can see, I upgraded it to the TH3D uh, extruder from their website, which will be in the link below. But I think we should jump right into the parts. Okay, so let's go over some parts of the extruder assembly. So this right here is your, your base plate or your mounting plate. Then we have the spring here. We have your extruder release arm right here. We have the uh, drive gear here, and that's the extruder shaft, or the drive shaft. We have the grub screw for the drive gear. Uh, down in here, we have the pulley and bearing assembly. So uh, in my case, this has a bearing and there's a, a pulley wheel. And when you squeeze your extruder, that, that pulley presses against your drive gear, causes the filament to touch the drive gear and, and get pushed through. Uh, over here we have your Bowden coupler and your Bowden tube or your PTFE tube. And that pretty much goes through everything that you'd be finding on your Creality style uh, extruder assembly. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the stock uh, extru extruder assembly from the Ender 3. If you noticed, mine was a different color. I got mine from TH3D, and I'll put that in the link below. But the, but the stock one will look like this when it's assembled on your printer. So when we went through the parts, uh, this is the base or the base plate. If you look here, this is your spring. We can just take that out. This is your release arm here. Um, this is your pulley. Let's see if I can. So this is your pulley here. And we can remove, there we go, the drive gear. And in the drive gear here, you can see real, let's see if I can get it close there. You can see that black grub screw in there. This is the Bowden coupler, and that should be your stock assembly. All right, so we went through the list or diagram of parts on my printer. So let's go ahead and look at section 4.1 of Luke's guide. Some of the issues with the extruders we can see in pictures here. Um, the first thing he points out, there could be a crack in your release lever or release arm. Um, sometimes it can be seen from the top side. So if you look here, uh, this is where your pulley would be. And if you take that off, sometimes there's this nice crack right here. And that's not a good thing. That'll cause tension to be released um, on that arm and you won't be extruding properly. So that's something to look at if you're seeing some uh, irregular extrusion or even if your filament isn't feeding. Uh, something you want to check is if there's a crack right here in this plastic arm that came from the factory. Uh, number two, he talks about an eccentric hole in the drive gear, uh, which could cause patterns to show in the first layer or top layers of the part. So if the hole is eccentric uh, and, and not uniform, there could be an issue here. The next issue is real easy to fix. It's actually that the drive gear is slipping around the drive shaft, just like this. And it's a very easy fix. Basically, all we need to do is take our Allen wrench that came with the kit and go ahead and put it in there and we'll turn it in just to tight with the long end because it's a little easier for me. And then we'll flip it around to the small end and we'll give it a good tightening. Just if I can get it in there while I'm filming, that's another question. But just like that, and now it doesn't slip anymore. 
The next thing, the pivot screw for the release arm uh, could be over tightened, causing the spring's tension not to transfer to the idler bearing. So in the stock uh, Ender 3 or some of the other models as well, the stock uh, extruder, in top of the plastic, you go to the end of the release arm, the screw that goes down through your pulley um, is actually over tightened in some cases. So you wanna just double check that. Uh, I would tighten it down, but not over tighten it. So go just to tight and then um, leave it there. But I wouldn't tighten it any more than that. And you can always check later if it loosens up, you need to get a little tighter. But if this thing is too tight here, uh, the spring tension won't transfer, that pulley won't turn, and you're going to have extruder issues. Um, the other thing to look at is if your spring is too loose, and I'm going to show that here. Um, if your spring is too loose, then what could happen is that there's not enough tension on this arm to actually, you know, push the pulley against your drive gear and feed the filament through. So a lot of times if you put your thumb on the end of that extruder while it's going and push it out a little bit to give it some more tension, uh, you can tell if your spring is too loose at that point. The next thing would be is if your filament has uh, worn the release arm and that would cause friction and drag on the filament. So, so if you see here, your circle should be here and it's actually grooved up into the plastic because of the angle the filament's coming through. And that would definitely cause drag on your filament. That could leave, lead to extruder issues because you're not pulling it like it should be pulled. Uh, you're probably losing some steps in there. Number seven, the drive gear has excessive wear on the teeth. Um, what you can do to fix this is you can actually slide the drive gear up or down on the drive shaft to uh, make the filament come in contact with a different part of that drive gear. Um, if you have another one, you can just replace it. At that point, you might just want to think about replacing the, the whole extruder assembly here. Um, that way, you know, you get something a little nicer, a stiffer spring, etc. But you can temporarily fix it, um, or if you just want to, you know, fix it for now and, and move on, you can just lift, uh, loosen the grub screw, lift it up on the shaft a little bit and make sure it's touching a different part of that um, the teeth on that drive gear. So we'll move on to section 4.2, uh, talk about a little more extruder issues. Um, what Luke says here in 4.2.1 is that filament is being fed backwards. So basically on a new build, if you accidentally mix up your X and E stepper cables, then what's going to happen is um, the the filament will actually go backwards. It won't push into the machine. It'll actually come, you know, it'll pull out of the machine. Um, some people have reported that the cable or the labels on those cables are wrong. Uh, I haven't seen that in my Ender 3. So section 4.2, what are the best replacement Bowden couplers for a tube? That is a great question. So there's a whole bunch of different ones out there right now. Um, I can show you the ones I used and I'll cut to those now while I'm talking. So I found these on Amazon. Um, I, I really like these. They've stayed in. They've done a very good job. And the PTFE tubing as well has done a very good job for me. Just a quick note about your Bowden coupler and your PTFE tubing. You really want to make sure your PTFE tubing is pushed all the way into that coupler and it's flush cut on the inside as well. That way it doesn't pull back out. You can take a Sharpie or a ballpoint pen and make a mark uh, on your PTFE tubing. That way you'll know if the PTFE tubing does come back out and it'll really help show you. But in the end, I think this will save you a lot of time. So that concludes section 4.1 and a little of 4.2. We've gone through some issues and how to fix them and I really hope you learned something today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button below. I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notified when the next great videos come out, click that little bell and we'll notify you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait for the things that are coming up. We'll see you next time.